the organization question based upon pipeline we have been given a processor x1 initially which is executing it is operating at 2 gigahertz and it has a standard five stage risk instruction pipeline having a base cpi of 1 so initial base cpi for a normal processor is 1 without any pipeline hazards if there are no pipeline hazards then cpi will be taken as 1 and now for a given program p that has 30 percent branch instructions so p is having 30 percent branch instruction control hazards incur two stall cycles for each of them for each branch and now this was for x1 then we are talking about a new processor x2 which is operating at the same clock frequency and it has an additional branch predictor unit that completely eliminates stalls for the correctly predicted branches now this processor x2 it has a branch predictor unit which will identify the branches and if it is correctly predicting a branch then for that the stalls will be completely eliminated zero stalls means even for the branch we will not require any penalty there is neither any savings nor any additional stalls for the wrong prediction and if it is predicting wrongly then the same two stall cycles will be applied for each branch and there are no structural hazards and data hazards for both x1 and x2 and this bpu unit has a prediction accuracy of 80 percent which means in 80 percent of the cases it is correctly predicting the branches and there will be no stall cycles but in 20 percent it is incorrectly identifying which means two stall cycles will be required for that cases we have to calculate the speed up ratio obtained by x2 over x1 now in general how do we give the speed up ratio it is given as old execution time and new execution time and what does this execution time consist of in the old execution time we will be considering all the things number of instructions and number of clock cycles per instruction the clock cycle time everything but in this case uh, the clock cycle time is given to be same number of instruction is same because it is the same program we are talking about so the only thing which is changing is the cpi which is cycles per instruction so the speed up ratio will become cpi of old system upon cpi of new system which means cpi for x1 upon cpi for x2 so let us calculate the cpi for each of them cpi for x1 how will that be given for normal processor it was given to be one when there are no pipeline hazards but this program p is having 30 percent branches and for every branch we are incurring a penalty of two stall cycles so the branch penalty will be 30 percent branches and two for each so this is the branch penalty when it is added it gives us 1.60 this is the cpi for x1 in the same way we will be calculating cpi for x2 for the normal processor it is one and then penalty will be added how much penalty for this now it is having a bpu branch prediction unit with an 80 percent accuracy so if it is correctly predicting then no penalty and if it is not correctly predicting then two stall cycles will be required but how many branches are there it is the same program p so it will be having 30 percent branches and now for these branches it depends if we are correctly predicting them or not if correctly predicted means in 80 percent of the cases there is no branch penalty but if it is incorrectly predicted in 20 percent of the cases then there is still a penalty of two stall cycles so this will be the cpi it becomes one plus this is zero so 0.3 into 0.4 so that becomes 1.1 so we have got the cpi for both of them now the speed up ratio will be old cpi upon new cpi which means 1.60 the cpi for x1 upon 1.12 which is the cpi for x2 and when we calculate this the result is 1.43 so this is the speed up we have achieved when we replace the processor x1 with the processor x2
So the answer will be 1.4.